here's a look at what's coming up on today's fossil hunt. We find quite a few lovely ammonite specimens and break a couple open on the beach, as well as chipping one out of a slab and finding one of our rarest ammonites, one that we've never found before. We show the ammonite found exactly as it was, and then we've also got photos at the end of the video of the finished, fully prepared ammonite. It looks absolutely incredible. So definitely stick around if you want to see that at the end. Just going to have a look around these loose bits of shale and pebbles see if there's any complete fossils laying around i think i've possibly spotted one just down there i've spotted, spotted another one in the same shot as well actually is there Hang on, and there's a third. All right, let's have a look at them. Got a nice little one inside. And the other one was just, oh, there's also one in this slab as well. There's a lovely, well, actually, that one's got two inside. It's got a crack through it as well. You might be able to open that quite easily. Well, very nice. A few nice, perfect little ones. Didn't expect to find this many so quickly. Let's continue having more of a look. There's plenty of stones to look through. Oh, just spotted another one. Can you see where it is as well? You might have already seen it by now, but there is another, well, Looks like just a partial bit of an ammonite, so... Well, it's got a complete, complete centre to it. I'll leave this one here for someone else to find though. There's just part of an outer world of another specimen. Wow, from a distance, well, first of all, there's quite a few fresh slabs here that have just come out, probably in the last couple of weeks or so. And I've just spotted perfect, pretty big ammonite. It's quite obvious, but I'll give you a moment just to make sure you can see it. So it's right down there. Pretty obvious. Looks like it's gonna come up really easily with the hammer and chisel. It's got a nice little shell underneath it as well. Might as well chip it up now, see if it's whole on the other side. I'm just gently chipping around it. Carefully removing as much shale as we can before we lift it out.
looking really good. not too far from being able to be lifted up. Let's get this last little bit off. So I think we can safely lift it up now. Habits come off, revealed the nice imprint. There we go, so it's got a nice thickness to it. Should be an absolutely perfect specimen inside that. Really nice. Lovely little Bellum night fossil there. One of the squid like creatures. Just a small one. And there's also this big partial ammonite. Sadly, not complete, but has been a very big one part of a Hildoceros ammonite. This nodule we opened was filled with fossilised shells. Absolutely loads of them. Lots of little specimens inside this one. I've spotted another lovely, or potentially really nice, ammonite. Can you see where this one is? So this one is right there. I can see the golden edge. moment of truth and it's a perfect one lovely piratized specimen makes have the golden appearance this species is a gramoceros which is relatively uncommon Here's another example of a little Gramoceros ammonite we found. In comparison to the previous one, this specimen was completely encased in rock still. 
However, there was a really significant crack through it. And just with a couple of little taps of our hammer and chisel, it opened incredibly easily. This unusual nodule contained a specimen which we've never found before. We're not entirely sure what species it is at the moment, however we'll try and find out. It was really calcified and a really impressive little laminate. Here's the ammonite that I mentioned at the start of the video, one that we've never found before. This is a Liposerus ammonite, and here's what it looked like at the time we found it. Still covered in rock, and totally unprepared at this point. It's a lovely big, chunky specimen. Looks really, really unique, and very different to the usual types of ammonites that we find. My dad has now since prepared this ammonite, and there's a few photographs of it fully prepared. You can see a lot of the rounded nodes going around the whorls of the ammonite, as well as lots of the suture patterns, and these are the leaf-looking patterns which represent the growth lines of the ammonite. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. That's amazing!